were there any concerns when Johnny Bairstow and Manish Pandey's pair was going really well? And at any point, were you worried about the result before, of course, Yuzi came in and worked his magic? Yeah, we knew that in batters were going to be crucial and, and we felt as, felt as though if we could open one end and, and get a new batter in, uh, guys who come in in the middle order found it hard to start their innings. It wasn't easy to, to get away to a flyer and hit boundaries early. Uh, with the with the slowness of the ground, but also the the wicket being a slightly lower surface, so um, we we knew that we we just had to keep hanging in there and hanging in there, and, and luckily we did that. Yuzi was was exceptional with the ball. I think um, he showed his class and his and his experience tonight. You also mentioned about the dew. Mm. How does he bowl with the wet ball? Do you have any thoughts around that? It's a great question. Uh, <laughs> I asked him out there. How does he how does he hold? hold the ball properly. He said it's, it's a bit more difficult, but he, he's practiced with it a lot. He's, he's very experienced in international cricket where, where you're playing in a lot of conditions where there's heavy dew as well. So uh, he's the ultimate professional and he, and he got the job done under pressure, which was outstanding. About your new opening partner, Devdutt, how did you enjoy, did you enjoy playing with him? What, what, were your, what was your advice to him when he came in? Yeah, Dev, he's a brilliant young player. I think he's shown over the last couple of years in domestic cricket, under-19 cricket, how talented he is and how destructive he can be at the top of the order. So yeah, I loved opening with him. He's, he's such an exciting young player. Left hand, right hand, it adds a little bit as well, which is nice. Um, my advice was just play your natural game. If, if, you're, if you're feeling it against a particular bowler, keep going. Um, play nice and smart and then my, my role changed a little bit then it was me just getting off strike trying to get ones to to keep his rhythm going how different is it, is it playing in the uae than in india what are you missing is it the crowd is, is it the whatever whatever your, your thoughts are around it i think in general with cricket you you miss the fans the spectators you know we play this game to put on a show for them and hopefully they can they can come and watch us and uh, obviously unfortunate at the moment in these unprecedented times but you know, we have to thank and credit all the people behind the scenes to get this up and running. We know how tough it is to get, uh, you know, over 3,000 people into one country and have, I think, over 15 biosecurity bubbles. It's an amazing effort, an amazing achievement, and we're extremely grateful that we're able to actually play this game. It was great to see youngsters uh, like Priyam and Abhishek getting a chance. Does SRH feel they're good enough to feature in the middle order throughout the season? We wouldn't have put them in the middle order if we didn't think they were good enough. Um, and if there's anyone who wants to criticise the middle order batting, it's it's something I haven't really seen out there before. Some three bizarre dismissals. Um, you know, I, I've my, I've encouraged them to keep playing their way and not think too much about um, the scenario or the situation out there. We've got to really rely on our um, you know senior players to guide those guys out there in the middle. And if so happens to be two youngsters out there. I, my message was just to play their natural game. At the end of the day, it's the only way you can learn. Um, it can be difficult at times. You know, there's a, it's pressure environment. 100 million people watching this. It's got to keep it ca calm, keep it simple for them. What are your thoughts about fielding today? You can talk about both teams, and also was catching difficult under the lights of Dubai. Obviously, it's very different. Uh, you know, playing with high-rise light towers, and then obviously round circle towers. So. The ball doesn't have to go too high and it can be distracting, but at the end of the day, you've got basic errors that were out there. For us, you know, no communication. Um, that's, just, that's just poor. Um, but Dale Staines, I think if you were in the stadium and you saw what happened, the ball tailed away from him at the end. That was a very high ball. Um, at the best of times, some people aren't getting that. I think Aaron Finch, yeah, he'll be disappointed he dropped that. That was an absolute sitter. Um, <laughs> But look, not so many people in World Cricket are catching that one either. Um, he absolutely got that right out of the middle. So, look, I think um, obviously um, coming here, new venue, um, there's a few challenges, but uh, yeah, a bit, a bit more communication from our, our side.